What's up, it's Joshua and I'm back with another minimalist workout. And in this one, I wanted to incorporate some exercises that I haven't used in quite a while. The leg press, uh, lat pull down using the free motion cable machine, and my overhead press, I'm going to be using kettlebells today. So starting off with a warm up set, we're gonna be using a lighter weight, slow controlled repetition tempo, focusing on engaging the muscles through your quads, hamstrings, glutes, And then moving on to a lighter warm up set for the lat pull down, focusing on a controlled eccentric or a negative portion of each repetition and really squeezing at the bottom, really contracting the lats, keeping the chest open. I like to concentrate on maintaining a smooth, continuous tension throughout the whole set. So I'm not letting the tension off too much at the top and I'm really concentrating on engaging strongly at the bottom. And finally, the warm up set for the overhead press using kettlebells. I did find this a little uncomfortable on the forearms. I, I don't use kettlebells that much, but I did like the extra stability challenge here for the shoulders. I really felt my deltoids after. Now with the minimalist program I follow, I perform four or five sets, including the warm up, So four or five rounds of each exercise, but I'm moving on here to the final set, which is a drop set. I've already performed two other working sets before this. So this final set, I'm gonna take it to complete momentary muscular failure or performance failure until I feel like I'm losing range or form. And then I'm going to drop set or reduce the weight by about 40 to 50%. And then I'm gonna perform as many repetitions as I can once again with the slightly lighter weight. Now the leg press isn't one of the exercises I typically use for lower body. I usually go for a squat lunge or deadlift variation, but I really did feel this today and, and I plan on incorporating the leg press more often. But since I'm uh, not as familiar with it, I could have gone a little bit heavier I found uh, than I did for this workout. Uh, so I'm going to be using a, uh, another drop set here, really push it to fatigue. I don't want to be able to walk out of the gym today. So I'm reducing the weight a little bit more and I'm gonna push it out to uh, see how many reps I can get with this uh, lighter weight here. Starting to really feel the shake set in. And I know for sure when this set is done, my legs are done. Now moving on to the last set of the lat pull down. I uh, really felt the lats on this uh, free motion machine. You can adjust the angle to come out a little bit wider. So I'm not only pulling down, but I'm pulling slightly inwards. And I felt a really good stretch at the top, really strong squeeze at the bottom. Uh, I might have uh, used uh, grip straps. My forearms are a little bit on fire by the end here as well, but uh, really had a good, uh, good pump in the back after this set. So I'm reducing the weight here for the drop set. And then I'm gonna perform a few more repetitions until I hit fatigue a second time. Now moving on to the last set of the standing kettlebell overhead press using some big ass kettlebells. These babies are pretty heavy. Starting to get a little shaky here by the end. Uh, really felt the shoulders as well as the uh, upper back around the shoulder blades and uh, I think I might incorporate these in the future as well um, just to help uh, increase my shoulder stability. Moving on to a little drop set here, a little lighter kettlebells for the finisher, pumping it out. Anyway, if you got any questions or comments, do post them down below and make sure you give the video a like and subscribe for more coming up soon. Uh, and check out the uh, Top Form Fitness Minimalist Training Program for the uh, complete program. I'll uh, post the link in the description section below. And I'll post it right here as well at leanerandstronger.com. This program shows you how to make more gains in less time with brief but highly effective workouts. Check it out. And until next time, stay strong.